especially interesting for me when you go around the museum and you see the collection that this museum has, that what I've been doing for the last 30 years could stand up to that level. It's, um, it's a big achievement for me. But somebody wrote me a text the other day, and I said, I'm having an exhibition in Boston, and he said, wow, the culture state. And I thought that sums it up in a way. Giselle for me represents my past in a funny way because I met her in New York at a casting when she was 17 and I thought that I had somebody had put the lights on in the room all of a sudden when she walked in. And it was funny because not everybody saw it immediately. I tried to tell the magazines that, you know, oh, I have this girl and she's a new girl. And it's true that at the time girls were really wavy and skinny and no breasts and no hips, not, you know. And, here comes the cell, blah, blah, boom. Uh, my craft is not even my craft, it's the craft of the people that I work with that I've managed to support that they have a craft that I can use within the, the world that I'm creating. And I would consider myself sometimes more of a director in a way. You know, um, I don't know, I'd never really met him, funnily enough, properly. I'd seen yeah. him at parties with her and, you know, he's a very, very good looking man. I'm not a, a big sports, he plays football, right? I believe. No, no. <laughs> he was amazing because I was like, okay, so I brought this dog and I would like that dog to jump on top of you in a very aggressive way. And he was like, okay, and I was like, oh my God, I would be terrified. You know, I've been doing this for 30 years and I was saying the other day that only for the last two years maybe I feel more comfortable with my work. 